Okay, so we're crossing Lake Okeechobee. It's kind of boring, so I thought I'd give you an update on the solar. Uh, I'm up top. We got some bugs, little midges or something, and uh, dragonflies. But I thought I'd show you these. This panel and that panel are new. I had four. Uh, now I have six. I upgraded my MPPT controller, so that's uh, that'll do 150 volts. This is making about 120 volts, 117 somewhere in there, and it goes down this little number 10 gauge wire, which is rated for 600 volts. So each panel has 20 volts about. So as as the volts go through the panels in series you add them all together. So you end up with like 120 volts, but the amperage, which is the current, stays the same. So that's uh, about five amps. So this wire, th thin as it is, will hold five amps easily. When it gets to the controller, then it converts it into uh, 12 volt, or 13, 14 volts to charge the batteries, and then the amps go up to uh, like 30 amps. And that's what goes into the batteries. Um, the most I've seen so far is 500 watts, which is pretty good. Should be doing pretty good today, but I ran the generator last night because it was hot and buggy. So, anyways, that's an update on the solar. It's working pretty good. I got it held down with this uh, Dyneema cables here. No more magnets. We know what happened there. If you've seen the video, they all blew off. All four panels went into the San Sebastian River. So no more magnets, everything's tied down. I thought I'd give you a, a view here. So each one of these Dyneema lines goes to different panels. So back here, there's three. There's two going forward. There's another one here going to this two over there and three in the back and then one in the back here so it's like a spider web up top keeps all the uh, panels spread out and so far we've had 20 30 knot winds and it seems to hold up pretty good so that's a solar update